Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Shane and welcome to my treasure hunting channel. So about two weeks ago, um, well, about three weeks ago, I actually caught the 19 and I kept people updated on the community tab of this channel. And I did release a couple videos over on my woodworking channel, Clutch Guitars. So if you're interested in seeing what's been going on between my last uh, fan mail video and this video, you can you can still I'm I'm very accessible. People have been texting me and everything, asking questions. Where am I? I'm fine. I'm just in recovery, right? Um, but I do test negative now, so we're gonna go up the mountain. We're gonna look for some porcini mushrooms today. People all over Facebook and Instagram and everything have been posting tons of pictures. A lot of people are saying they're really buggy this year, so a lot of the Mushrooms have they're full of worms and everything, but we're gonna hope that we find some good ones or buggy ones I don't care. I just kind of want to get away from the studio here and the shop and the house I want to go up the mountain I'm gonna take you guys with me and uh, before we do I want to give a big thank you and shout out to a brand new major credit patreon supporter We have Jethro gritty. Thanks so much, man I really appreciate the support if anybody else would like to support the show. There's always a little blue join button down below Plus, there's also Patreon. I do have merch and stuff like that, too, that you can get links below. All right. I'll see you guys up the mountain. All right. On the way out the door here, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm also going to be looking for any kind of, you know, nice looking woods and stuff for the wood shop. Any kind of burls and stuff. We'll be keeping our eyes open for that stuff as well. So... Let's get up there and see what we can find. All right, we made it up the mountain. We're a couple hours outside of Denver. I'm well above 10,500 feet elevation. The ground is perfect. The conditions are perfect. I have found porcini mushrooms in this exact location um, in previous years. I'm not finding any porcinis. I'm not finding any aspen bolites. I'm not finding anything like that. I am finding like little inky caps and like other stuff that we can't eat. Like I said, we're in the perfect environment for porcini mushrooms. We're just not having any luck right now. I think my elevation might be the issue. We're gonna go to my other spot. Um, it's about 9,500 feet, about, 10, uh, about 1,000 feet um, lower. So we're gonna go over to that spot after we hike down this mountain and wish me luck over there. All right, just bushwhacking our way back down the mountain. And I look down. I saw this really awesome piece of wood here. This is the, the root ball of probably a pine tree. There's a lot of pines around. So it's a soft wood, so we couldn't use it for, I mean, technically we could use it for building a guitar top. All we would have to do is stabilize it with some clear penetrating epoxy sealer. That is some pretty nice stuff. Too bad it's only the size of my hand. The recovery from 19, the unexpected thing for me is the shortness of breath. I mean, yeah, there's not much oxygen up here to begin with, and any normal person coming up here to hike is gonna be out of breath, but I could definitely feel a difference um, after being sick. So it's nice to be out here though. No complaints, definitely. Can't complain about this. So right over here on the way down, we're almost all the way down. And I'm finding more mushrooms at the lower elevations. So uh, as you can see here, this is kind of what I'm finding now. Not edible. And in the middle of absolute nowhere, mountains of Colorado, of course, clean up after yourself, people. Don't make me have to do it all the time. Man, I hate people. Right here's something worth filming. Here we have an Amanita muscaria mushroom. First of all, Never listen to somebody on YouTube, ever, for any reason whatsoever. That being said, some people have said that this mushroom is medicinal. Others have said it's deadly. I have never tried them. I have picked them before with the intention of trying them, but I never did. They're usually red with white spots. This one here is orange for some reason. I'm sure we'll find more of them, but we're at a lower elevation now, so we're finding different stuff. We've got some bumblebees here on the large leaf lupine. Some mountain flowers here in Colorado. All right, we're at a lower elevation here in a fielded area, like a little clearing in the woods. 
and we found some king belites or porcini mushrooms this is what we're looking for guys look at this here's another one awesome yeah all we had to do is change elevation you can tell these are king belite mushrooms or porcinis by the dark reddish brown cap they're very firm um, the white stem, it's very thick stem. They're very, almost like woody, but still soft. Yeah, we got a couple porcinis, awesome. Um, I have found porcinis in this exact area um, last year and the year before. So I'm gonna go ahead and search around a little bit more before I pick these. And I don't know if they're buggy or not. I'm kind of expecting them to be buggy, but we'll pick them and find out. Let me search around a bit. If I find some more, I'll show you. And if not, we'll pick those and continue on our trip. All right, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and pick this mushroom here and the other one. I do see a bug hole on the top of it. We'll clean these up when we get home. Sweet. Well, that's a nice sight to see. Let's go ahead and check my other spot. I'm still in the original spot down near the truck. All right, so we are again um, at a different spot, not the uh, lower elevation. We're at about 10,820 feet right here. And I looked up this hill and I could kind of see it right behind those flowers there looks like there might be a porcini there they look kind of buggy holy cow look how fat that one is let's check this guy out yeah completely full of bugs so this one here we're gonna leave to spore out this one here is very likely also buggy. I got my trusty buck 110 here. Yeah, what a shame. I may be able to salvage some of this. Now, there's bugs all through it. I mean, you could technically dehydrate it. I'm just gonna leave that one here to spore out for next year. Um, at home, if you haven't seen my porcini video from last year, I still have a bucket full this here's a fresh popper. These are the uh, the choice ones. Let's see if there's any bugs in this one. I hope not. Oh yeah, this one looks no. It's full of worms as well. Man, that sucks. Right here we have a puffball mushroom. Those are edible. There looks like the bugs also know that it's edible. All right, we're at a big rock clearing here, and we found our first porcini in this new area. Oh, there's a couple of them. Sweet. These ones are fresh, but they look like they've been munched on by some critters. Oh, that one feels fresh. Oh man, these actually might be gone, never mind full of maggots man that stinks I'm gonna guess this one's the same way let's cut it open I mean it's not like I wasn't expecting them to be buggy but yeah completely full of bugs that's number five and six that we found again like I said can't complain about the view it's a good hike up and uh, we're finding you know some mushrooms um, the first two that I picked I did not check to see if they were buggy I'm gonna assume that they are but we'll check when we get back to the truck we're we're a pretty good distance up the mountain here I was keeping my eyes to the ground looking for that reddish brown cap popping through and I'm not seeing any. 
All right, so I'm headed back down to the truck. I'm sticking to the open areas. I seem to be finding more mushrooms here in the open areas. So I'm sticking to these, heading down to the truck. And if we find anything, I'll let you know. Um, I'll show here if those mushrooms that I found already were buggy or, or not. But whether or not they are, it doesn't matter. Um, the whole, for me, mush, it's not really about the mushrooms. It's about the adventure and finding them or just getting up here in the, into the woods away from everything else. All right, still searching around. And I haven't seen any porcinis yet. I'm not really seeing much of anything. However, this kind of uh, biome is perfect. We've got the blue spruce, we've got the evergreens, we've got the smaller open areas for the porcinis to grow. We'll keep looking around. All right, well, I think I'm thoroughly soaked. I think I'm gonna head back to the truck and go back to Denver. Um, I did not find any porcinis in this new location. So it uh, doesn't mean they're not here. I've only walked maybe a quarter mile in here, but usually I'd see something popping, but I don't see nothing. So anyway, sorry for the poor audio quality. I'm sure it's terrible. And the audio video quality as well. So I'm gonna let you guys go right there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left. So thanks so much. And also big thanks to all my major credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out. And I'll see you guys on the next video.